In this video, I will show you step by step on how you can create puzzle books of any sort with Book Bolt, which you can then publish on Amazon KDP. Even if you are a complete beginner, I promise you that after watching this video, you'll be able to make your own puzzle books. Here's what I'll show you in today's tutorial. The platform you need to get this done on quick and easy. A full platform guide so you can understand how everything works, how to create your puzzle book, how to customize your puzzle book, and finally how to download it so that you can sell it. I'll leave the timestamps for you in the description down below. The platform that we are going to be using is called BookBold. It's the leading platform for creating low content books, including puzzle books. BookBold is a fantastic tool that lets you effortlessly craft a variety of activity and puzzle pages, from word searches to crossword puzzles and even mazes. All it takes is a few simple clicks and you're all set. In a previous video, I did give you a detailed book bowl tutorial where we explored all awesome features that can supercharge your KDB business. From product research to ready-made interior pages and cover design capabilities. Book bolt has it all covered. If you're interested in discovering these powerful tools, be sure to click on the link provided above as well as in the video description below. But for today's tutorial, we're going to focus specifically on the puzzle and activity page creation functionalities that will add an exciting dimension to your book. So to get started, make sure you have a book bold pro account. Now to make a book bold pro account, what you're going to do is obviously going to go and log in. Now, if you already have one, feel free to skip this step that I'm about to show you. But if you don't do not worry, you can easily sign up on book bold pro at a cost of approximately $19.99 per month. So if you go on login, okay, in the top right, what you're gonna do over here, is you're gonna head up to sign up. And once you go on sign up, it's gonna give you two forms, okay? So there's the monthly newbie, okay, that's $9.99, and then there's the pro, which is $19.99, okay? As I stated, if you sign up for Book Bowl Pro, it's $19.99 per month. And here's a fantastic deal for you. By using the subscription link provided in the video description below, you can enjoy a 20% discount on your subscription. Simply enter the discount code that I've included next to the link during the sign-up process to avail the offer. Now, one of the best things about Book Bolt is that it offers a generous three-day free trial, as you can clearly see over here. This means that you can actually test out the tool, explore its capabilities before committing to an actual subscription. Take advantage of this trial period to ensure that BookBolt aligns perfectly with your needs and preferences. So what sets the pro account apart from the newbie account? Well, it's not that different. The pro account basically includes all the features that you get with the newbie account and then adds the incredible, you know, puzzle creation software, as you can see. And that's exactly what we'll be using today to create captivating puzzles for our activity book. Once you've logged into BookBolt, okay, so, you know, once you're done signing up and everything, you're going to log into BookBolt and you're going to see a whole research place, okay? And let me guide you from there. So once you're logged in and everything, you're going to come to a page like this. It's going to look a lot like this, okay? This is your research space. So head over to the create section, which you're going to find right here in the top left. And once you're over there, you're going to go into the Book Bowl Studio. So that's going to dive you into the exciting process of crafting your unique puzzles in activity pages. So get ready to unlock your creativity and watch your puzzle book come to life before your eyes. Now, let's put ChatGPT to work and harness the actual creative power to generate some fantastic ideas for our cat themed crossword puzzle. So there are 10 words and clues related to cats that ChatGPT has come with. OK, so. It's going to look a bit like this. Now, here's ChatGPT. Now, if you're not familiar with ChatGPT, what you're going to do to get, you know, your proper clues out is you're going to write, give me 10 words, okay, and clues related to cats, okay, related to cats that, you know, well, can be used in a crossword puzzle or a clue puzzle, okay? And once you enter it, ChatGPT will start giving you all these different clues and stuff like that. Now, I already have my clues. I was just going to show you how you're going to make your clues. OK, so this is how you're going to make your clues. Just add in this prompt and it should show you these clues over here. I already have my clues. OK, and uh, the clues are, you know, they're pretty much same as this, you know, per whiskers. Uh, mew, scratch, feline, nap, pounce, kitty, tail, whisker. And I have all their clues as well. So. With these fun and catastic words and clues, 
our crossword puzzle is well on its way to being a delightful challenge for our readers. Now, let's open up an Excel document and copy paste each word and clue onto it. Oh, I know what you're thinking. Why are we opening an Excel document? Trust me, it's going to make sense in a few seconds. So we open up an Excel document. You're going to open up a blank workbook. And over here, you're going to start writing your things. Now, obviously, as I stated, uh, you're going to write your words. So let's say per. OK, and then over here, you're going to write its clue. So the sound of a contended feline. Now, slowly like this, you're going to start adding all your clues and I'm going to add all of them and I'm going to get straight back to you. Now, as we're done, it's going to look somewhat like this. As you can see, I've added my, you know, proper words over here and the clues over here. OK, now make sure to put the clues right next to the corresponding words. OK, as I've done over here. And once we have all the words and clues neatly arranged in Excel, we're going to save the document. OK, so you're going to go on save. I'm going to save the document in my uh, downloads folder. I'm going to name it cat demo. OK, and once you do that, make sure that it's a CSV format. OK, trust me, you want to make it CSV. It's going to be in XLSX. Switch it to CSV dot CSV format. This is extremely crucial to remember to do this. Once you do that, click on save. And once you do that, you're going to do yes. And obviously it's going to save it in a CSV format for you. Now, once you have done that and we've prepared our CSV file with the nine words for the each word puzzle, let's head back to the BookBold software and continue our work. So here's our BookBold software and we're going to start continuing the creative process. Once again, click on page templates over here. OK, and we'll navigate to the pro only section for ourselves. OK, so here's the pro only section. Now here in the pro only section, we're going to find ourselves the word search template conveniently. So click on word search. OK, so over here you're going to get tons and tons of things. And here is word search. So once you choose word search, you're going to choose the page where you want your word search puzzle to appear. So for this demonstration, I'll select page two, uh, which is going to be this page. And then I'm also going to just choose page one. And once you do that, we're going to go ahead and click on next. Now, just like before, you can customize the margins around the page to your preference. I'll set it to one inch, but you can adjust it to your very own liking. OK, now here's what you can truly make your word search puzzle unique. Customize the font, font size and all the colors of your words. So beforehand, let's set the margins to one inch. So obviously, you know, you have all these settings over here. So here are our margins. So let's set all of them by one inch, one, one margin, bottom, one inch margin, left one inch. So there's the one inch to every margin. Now, as I said, customize the font, font size, and even the color of your words, let your creativity actually shine. So, you know, let's say I want to choose the font for this, um, this a bio Libre. You can choose the different styles of it. I'm going to go with medium 500. Let's go with the word font. Let's go with April fat face, you know, because we want a big font to show us the font details. Once you do that, you can choose the font size. I'd say the standard size as well. And you can start going with the font colors as well. I'm going to go with a red on the, you know, normal font. And I'm going to go with a bit of a dark blue like this on the word font. Now, once you've done that, don't forget the crucial step of setting the max words per page to match the number of your words in the CSV file. In our case, we'll set it to nine since we have nine to 10 words in our file. OK, so max words per page. I'm going to go with nine. And once you set that in optionally, you can add the solution after the puzzle pages. If you want your readers to have an easy way to check their answers, this is entirely up to you and you can choose to include it or not. Now it's time to upload the CSV file that we made with our word list. Click choose CSV file over here. Now, obviously, I had my CSV file, in my downloads. There we go. CAD demo. You're going to choose that. And there we go. Now, once you do that, obviously, as you can see, it has 10 words. So yeah, max words per page 10 as so. Once you do that, there we go. We have our file containing the related words for our search puzzle. Perfect. Now that our maze is complete with added graphics. It's time to move on to the cover design. Okay. So let me just go ahead and make sure everything is good to go. 
And yeah, once you do that, click on next. Again, as I stated, choose the pages. And in those pages, we're gonna add the solutions, as we said. And uh, obviously, as I stated, keep in mind, choose CSV file. Go with the CSV file that you have. Click on next. And uh, yeah, the solutions are gonna appear on your page. So just click on submit. And uh, obviously the solutions will appear on the separate page. So pretty easy stuff. Now, in the case that your solution does not appear or, you know, in the case that your word puzzle does not appear or your word search does not appear, just go again, choose a page. Your settings are going to be copied into the normal center, which is pretty good. And uh, again, as I said, choose the CSV file, choose the words. Obviously, I have 10 words over here. And once you do that here, it also says take into account, make sure all words are in one column. And when choosing number of puzzles with solutions, check you have number of pages needed. Example, 50 puzzles plus 50 solutions is equal to 100 pages in the project minimum. So if you have a 50 puzzles and plus on those 50 puzzles, you have uh, 50 solutions, you need 100 pages minimum. OK, so you're going to need to keep that in your repertoire. And you can also get an example of the CSV that you have to make. So, you know, this is the example of the CSV that you can make. OK, now this is obviously words. They don't have any solution to them. So, you know, we're going to skip that bit. Click on next solution. Click on the next page. Click on submit. And there you go. So you have your word puzzle. Wait, uh, let me just uh, remove the other itinerary stuff that we don't need. OK, there we go. I'm going to remove that. I'm going to remove all that. And here we are. So now you're going to expand its size as so. Now, once you're done with all of that, let's create our actual cover. OK, let's head back to the cover template, which is over here. This is your cover. And let's get creative with the design. Remember, the design is entirely up to you. And I'll show you an example of how you're going to go about it. Since our book theme revolves around cats, let's search for cats on the images section over here. OK, we're going to search on Pixabay. And on Pixabay, you're going to write cats. Let's search that and uh, let's find a suitable image for the cover. After exploring the options, let's choose, you know, this adorable cat image for the centerpiece. You know, now once you do that, uh, let's, uh, you know, add the cat image. There we go. And there we go. That's centralized. Now, once you've done that for the cover, let's add some more elements to make the cover pop. To create a visually appealing background, we'll add a rectangle, send it to the back and customize the color. So we're going to go with elements over here. Take a rectangle. Uh, I'm going to make the color a bit blue. OK, I would prefer it to be a bit blue. So, yeah, this blue looks good enough. Now, once you do that, I'm going to send it to the back um, and, uh, you know, I'm going to make it a bit better so it can have a bit pop. A uh, soft blue color would look good. So once you do that, obviously, we're going to make the text like this. I'm going to bring it here. Yeah, that looks good. Centralize it better. Now let's do something to the elements. Now let's add the book's title inside this rectangle. Feel free to experiment with the different font styles that I told you about. Go into the font. We're going to go on a heading. I'm going to take the heading. I'm going to bring it here, centralize it, and then, you know, add any type of title that you want. So I'm going to do cat puzzle. Let's add cat puzzle. Now, as you can see, it looks OK, but it looks too like weird. I don't really like this type of font. So I'm going to go in fonts and let's go with a font that, uh, you know, is a bit uh, decent. This looks like a decent font. So let's switch it to that. And then I'm also going to make the font size a bit smaller. OK, and yeah, that looks pretty good. So centralize it and that. Yeah, that looks good. Then you're going to go on the colors. You can switch it to white. OK, I prefer white, to be honest. That looks pretty good. And once you're done with your cover, this is obviously your front cover. You can obviously go with the back cover with any designs. And to give the cover more depth, you can add a few more graphics like paw prints and all that. So if you were to go in elements, you're going to come down here. You know, there's uh, different types of shapes. Uh, you can add butterflies. You can add different paw prints. So if I were to go over here, you can also search, you know, paw prints. PNG on Google on any, uh, you know, corresponding website. So as you can see, these looks pretty good. So I'm going to open them in a new tab. And what this does, it brings me here. That's a really nice pop print. 
So what you can do is you're just going to go ahead and download it and it gives you a really good looking and nice paw print. Or what you can do is you can just go and click on open image and new tab as so. Go here, click on save image as, make sure it's downloading it in a PNG image. Even if it downloads it in a JPEG image, that's no issue. You can just come here to a website called remove.bg where we're going to remove the background. Because if we add this image as it is, it's going to give us like the weird white background, which I don't really like. So uh, I'm going to add that. And once we add that from here on out, what's going to happen is that we're going to go ahead into our Bookball Studio. And over here, what we are going to do is we're going to go into images as so. And we're going to go on my uploads. I'm going to go on upload image and we're going to choose this. Now, once you choose this, obviously you're going to click on it. Obviously it's dark. So what you're going to do is uh, you can, uh, you know, blend it into the title. Okay. We're going to be a bit smart with this. So, you know, do that, bring it here, you know, make it look nice. And then uh, you can, oh, why? Hey, there we go. So, you know, you can add more elements to make it look realistic and, you know, other cat related elements can be added. Then you can also play around with the layout and arrangement until you're satisfied with the cover's appearance. I'm satisfied with my cover's appearance, looks pretty nice. So to add a touch of elegance to the cover, let's create another rectangle to accommodate the book's title and additional elements. So you can adjust its positioning and bring it out to in the front to make it stand out as I have right now. Now let's add the book's title over the rectangle as I did, you know, cat puzzle, pretty good title. And uh, what you can do, is uh, let's add the word search puzzle in the background making it visible yet subtle by setting it to white okay so we're going to come here and in this box i'm going to go ahead choose a rectangle i'm going to put this here i'm going to bring this here and i'm going to expand this over here and once you have this obviously as i stated we're going to make it white go on text and in the circular text to you know give it a bit of a fun thing uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, write what we are here to write, which is word puzzle. And uh, obviously, once you write word puzzle as so, I'm going to bring it here. You can uh, obviously choose how much you want it to curve. Uh, the radius can be set like this. I'm going to bring it here. And down here, you can add, you know, your corresponding any different type of uh, word puzzles that you have. Wait a second. Let me just save that. Now, let's say you have this word puzzle over here. You can make more word puzzles, obviously, but uh, I'm just going to take this one. And for an example, you know, just to give you a general output of it, just copy paste it here. And we can mess around with the opacity a bit as well. Let's make it opaque. So, you know, people get a general idea of what they're going to get inside. OK, now adjust its positioning. And this adds a delightful design element white showcasing one of the exciting puzzles inside the book. You know how cool. Now, as for the back cover, you know, we added it pretty nicely. You can include a captivating book description as well right under here if you want to. That's totally dependent on you. I prefer this word puzzle in the back. Pretty good. And it gives potential readers a glimpse of the content that awaits them. And there you have it. A completed and captivating cover for your puzzle for your activity book. The creative vision has truly shown through in detail. Like if I were to, you know, look at this cover, pretty amazing. Then you're going to come over to the page. Uh, this is your basic crossword. Let me just expand its size and look at that. So obviously it's the person's job to find these words in this crossword. And then obviously, wait, let me just uh, save this real quick. There we go. Then you're going to move on to this page, which is going to be your solutions page. Wait, let me just go ahead and uh, deselect all those. And look at that. It has given us our proper solutions in this page. Now, if you enjoyed this and want to get started yourself, I'll leave a link to Book Vault in the description down below. By using creator code 20, you'll be able to get 20% off any plan for the lifetime of you using it. Also, don't forget to like this video and check out my channel for more Book Vault and KDP tutorials.